the new questions surrounding the writings of one of the world's most infamous mass murderers, Adolf Hitler's Mein Kampf. This manifesto of hate and blueprint for genocide has been published by Boston-based Houghton Mifflin Harcourt since 1933. And for the past 16 years, it's donated the proceeds to organizations which combat anti-Semitism and educate people about the Holocaust. But more recently, they've broadened the list of recipients to include a wide range of nonprofits, many of which have nothing to do with Jewish education or Holocaust awareness. And that move has gotten very mixed reactions. We caught up with a few people at the Holocaust Memorial in Boston Austin, to ask them where they thought the money should be going. I think it should go to all of those survivors of, uh, of those Jewish families. For a good cause to uh, avoid this happening again. To the publisher. Connecting it to particular people is a, is a mistake. Um, it's, just a, it's just a book. It's just some words. Who would take them? Who would want to say and thank you to the Mein Kampf Trust for the money? to do our good work. I do not believe it should be published. I, I think it is a book that should be forgotten. To that last point, Linda Zecker, the president and CEO of the publishing company, wrote an op-ed in The Globe last week, which argued in part, Houghton Mifflin Carcourt, as a learning company, first and foremost, remains steadfast in our belief that the value in making Mein Kampf accessible lies in its potential for ongoing education and awareness. As an artifact, the book challenges us to deepen dialogue and to examine the contemporary socio-cultural and political landscape in which we live. Joining me now is Mike Ross, he's former president of Boston City Council, now a frequent Globe contributor. His father survived five years in concentration camps. Many other family members were murdered by the Nazis. And by the way, we did reach out to Houghton Mifflin. They declined to join us, but sent us a statement essentially reiterating their stance. Mike, it's good to see you. Good to see you too. What's your problem with this, uh, essentially a different distribution money? It's all going to pretty important groups, deal with diversity, tolerance, what's the problem? Well, there's a reason why they segregate this money to begin with. And by the way, it wasn't this current CEO's decision to take the Mein Kampf proceeds and separate it from the rest of the general fund of uh, Houghton Mifflin. This is, I think, a couple gen uh, mm -hmm. CEOs ago made that decision. That money's already going somewhere different because, you know, th this is the blueprint for the annihilation of a people. And to, to make money off of that book, the book should be published. Absolutely should be published. And even if I hate the fact that the book's being published, it should still be published. But it should be published. No you, one's arguing say, that. But to make money the off it, you mean... The proceeds of it. So the fact but they're that, not keeping any of the money. They're giving it all away. Wow, they're giving it away to, to these kind of, you know, to the Museum of Fine Arts, to the Children's Museum. And, and credit to them for standing up and saying, we don't want to take those funds. I mean, I credit the, and I reached out to the president of the Children's Museum, um, Carol Charno, who, who turned, down, who, who the turned down the money, and she needs the money. And be, because it's wrong to accept those funds, that those funds should be going to, because who better than, than Adolf Hitler's own words to, to educate population about the Holocaust? And we know from an article that Jeff Jacoby wrote a couple weeks ago that um, a poll was taken, a worldwide poll, only 53% of the uh, recipients knew what the Holocaust was, and of that population, one third thought it was either a, uh, exaggerated or a hoax. So, if for organizations, nonprofits who are not working on Holocaust issues or anti Semitism initiatives, they should turn down the money, a la the Children's Museum, if it's offered, even if they're doing important other work? I mean, the better question is that a competent company like Houghton Mifflin, who is an intellectual company, a company that wants to hold itself out there as a responsible company, shouldn't be putting companies in that. Position but in should the first they, place. if they do put them in that position, I know it's hard to but turn down money. Hard, I used to run a nonprofit. Yeah, but why should they are turn they, it no, down? Jim, I mean, they should turn it down. Yes, but isn't it? Why are they doing it in the first place? Well, here's place? what they say. The statement they sent in part, we feel that giving funds to organizations that drive the civic and cultural discourse in Boston and beyond can effectively influence the way our society tackles issues of bias and discrimination. It's important these funds are used towards ensuring we learn from history. It's also important to note we are not excluding in any way programs that address Holocaust education or combat yeah, anti-Semitism. I mean, like, honestly, this is a complex issue, right? The, discussing the Holocaust, where funds, reparation funds, Adolf Hitler's funds should go. That is a complex issue. At one point, it was illegal for those funds to even be in the general public. They were seized by the American government. So for this company just to kind of behind closed doors, come up with a policy, and then say, this is how we're doing it, Th this was a lost opportunity. They had a chance to have a larger dialogue with, with the broader community. 
and say, gee, you know, these are, this is blood money. Do they reach out to the broader community no. before they no. switch the there was no, funding there was no, powers? There was no reaching out. And, you know, you said a minute ago, Mike Ross, that you supported publishing it, and I assume that's for the reasons they said, because it helps educate people about the horror. But a lot of people think it inspires hate. It's number 10, the Globe story on it the other day. Top 10 on iTunes, politics, and current events. Do you worry about the second half of that, the hate groups that get it, who are inspired by this Of course sickness? I do. I mean, this thing's on Amazon with four stars. All right, so Houghton Mifflin, you know, they're making money on this thing. You know, in Germany, they had a much more responsible conversation about their copy of Mein Kampf because this is separate. U.S. has one version. Germany has It wasn't has published a, there for decades, was it? And when the copyright rescinded, remember a year ago there was yeah, a conversation? Yeah. So now they have the annotated book in Mein Kampf. They had a conversation with the public. They said, how should we do this right? Hope Mifflin just comes out and does it kind of willy-nilly. They're, they're, they're saying no to Facing History. Facing History is the group that educates uh, children uh, in our Boston public schools and elsewhere and across the country. Aren't they the people that should receive these funds to put the money, put that back in the schools? Have you talked to your father about this controversy? Yeah, you know, my dad's kind of, you know, he's he's not the same. He had a stroke a couple of years ago, 90s, and right? he's, he's in his 90s. Do you worry? So I, mean, I don't want to upset him on this thing, but I, the old Steve Ross, he'd be out in front of the... <laughs> the Hope Mifflin was a sign. Steve Ross, who's in great part responsible for the Holocaust. He's the Memorial. founder so, of the Memorial. But, but, but survivor. lastly, do you worry? I mean, mm -hmm. your father is old. Uh, most Holocaust survivors are still around. They're yeah. not going to be around terribly much longer. While the books will still be there on both sides, do you worry that when we can no longer hear the voices of men and women who survived this, that it's going the, the the focus on it is going to start to dissipate even more? Of course, and I worry about the, the, the fact that people aren't going to know what the Holocaust was and that, that, that people will forget. Like, there are the Yazidi people are today being mm -hmm. targeted by ISIS um, out of the Syrian conflict and, uh, and Middle East. Uh, there, there is just, um, I, I worry that, that companies like Houghton Mifflin aren't taking this responsibility more serious and more responsibly. Mike Ross, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for saying your piece. Uh, I appreciate it.